So it's been two years now that we've been collaborating with Mac Motors to take what's already a super high performance, well-regarded geared hub motor and converting that into what we think is the ultimate geared motor for e-bike applications. And that's the GMAC motor that I have on my left here. So the GMAC motor has the same powerful inner core that Mac Motor is famous for. That's a geared motor with a 5 to 1 reduction ratio and phenomenal off-the-line power and torque capability. But like all the motors coming out of China, it left a lot to be desired in terms of the mechanical fitment issues. So one by one, I'm going to go over the changes to the mechanics and make the GMAC really stand out here. So the first thing that you'll notice is that the GMAC motor has a round 10 millimeter axle. The Mac motor, like almost all the powerful motors, uses a 14 millimeter axle that's machined to have 10 millimeter flats to fit on the bike, but the downside of this axle design is that it doesn't sit all the way up inside the dropout slot. So when you mount this motor on a modern bicycle, a round axle like this seats itself on the same axis point as the standard bicycle hub, meaning that your disc rotor is exactly in the right place for the disc caliper. When you have an axle with flats on it that's a larger diameter, it sits about four millimeters further down, and it means that only half of the disc pads actually engage with the disc rotor. How do we get a round axle on here? Well, the trick for that was to have an integrated torque arm. So the reason why these motors have axle flats is because they're relying on the dropout in order to resist all the torque on the axle that happens when the motor is being spun forwards. On the GMAC motor, we've integrated a spline pattern on the axle inside the dropout that allows us to have a press fit torque arm that gives us perfect spin out strength without any torque being coupled to the dropout slot itself. This splined axle design also enabled us to have the cable exit from the side of the axle instead of coming out from the end. The benefit of a side cable axle like this is that we've protected the cable in the event of crashing or wiping out, and we don't have the restriction that all of the nuts and the washers that fit on the axle have to first slide over the connector. That's one of the big downsides of this standard approach where the cable comes out the end of the axle. All of this hardware has to fit over the connector. That means you can't use a large overmolded plug because you have no way of replacing the hardware. And even if you have Andersons and whatnot, you have to cut these off in order to do any hardware adjustments. This overmolded plug that we're using here, the L10 connector, lets us fit the three phase wires, the five hall sensor wires, and a speedometer and a temperature signal all in one convenient tidy connector. Another key important difference for us is the drivetrain. And on the GMAC motor, we're using a cassette free hub system that makes it compatible with all the modern 8, 9, 10, 11 speed derailer setups that are on mountain bike these days, rather than the old style of threaded freewheel. Now they do make freewheels that go up to nine speeds, but they don't allow you to reuse your existing cassette free hub and there's way fewer options available there. But the biggest difference between these two motors isn't visible from this external lock. And that has to do with the fact that the GMAC motor has a locked clutch and is capable of re generative braking. Now regen is not a feature you normally see on geared motors because they typically have a freewheeling clutch inside. That enables the motor to spin freely with no drag when you're not using it, but it prevents the motor from putting any backwards torque on the hub itself. And that eliminates one of the main selling points and features of hub motors is regenerative braking. Now why would you want regen on a geared motor like this? Well, in the same way that geared motors have better acceleration, better torque at low speeds, they also have better braking torque and braking torque right down to a stop. On the top of this neat little mound, we're gonna head straight down to this busy industrial avenue called Clark Avenue using nothing but regen. If it fails me, I'm gonna crash straight into some fast moving trucks, but I have to. So you can use regen on a GMAC motor and come to stop almost as effectively as mechanical brakes and recapture a higher percentage of that energy than you would with a direct drive hub motor. So why don't all geared motors have a locked clutch like this? Well, one of the common selling points of the geared motor is that it freewheels. It doesn't have any drag when you're just pedaling the bike. Now, when we were first coming up with the GMAC motor, our target application was cargo bikes. When you're riding with cargo, you're using the motor all the time. So a bit of incidental drags for those small sections where you're pedaling without the motor is pretty inconsequential compared to all the benefits of regen. But what we later realized is that with the phase runner motor controller, we can truly unlock the potential of this lock clutch motor by injecting just enough current so that it feels like it freewheels. 
So if you're not needing this just for cargo applications, but as a daily commuter, and you want to pedal long stretches without the perception of drag coming out of the wheel, you can set up the phase runner controller to give you that sensation electronically. It'll use 20, 30, 40 watts of power depending on your speed, but whenever you use the brakes to come to a stop, you'll be regaining that energy and then some back into the battery pack. So the net effect is that you get better range out of the system by not having a freewheel and having regen than you would with the standard freewheeling geared motor. So for all those reasons, we think that this GMAC hub, which we were initially conceiving just for cargo, actually has a wide ranging number of applications for any kind of commuter who needs a high power, high performance geared motor, all the benefits of regen and the lightness of a geared versus a direct drive hub.